briefing report blames the Department of Corrections and Governor Dave Heineman for the Nico Jenkins scandal and the early release of hundreds of prisoners. Good evening. I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. The Special Legislative Committee is doing more than just pointing fingers in the report released today. It's calling for change. KTV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich live with the latest from Lincoln. Nicole. When it comes to that change, the committee says they want to see more programs and more oversight of the Department of Correctional Service Services. They also want to see more people from that department fired, including the current director and the deputy director. The role isn't to embarrass Governor Heineman on his way out, out the door. But when it comes to the governor's role in the early release of hundreds of inmates, the special legislative report says pressure from his office to reduce prison populations without cost was the driving force behind it all. The things that happened in the Department of Corrections are right at the doorstep of the governor. The legislative committee says the department ignored Supreme Court rulings that said they were miscalculating certain sentences. And they also believe another program developed outside the law allowed prisoners, some of them even violent, to be furloughed before their parole dates. Overcrowding was driving policy at the Department of Corrections in two respects. Move people out and don't bring people back. But the committee says there is one problem not related to overcrowding. Nico Jenkins. Was offered little or no mental health care. Uh, that his pleas for help and his promises to go on a murderous rampage when he was discharged were wholly ignored. The committee says Jenkins spent most of his confinement in segregation and then was released to the public with little mental health treatment. Discussions they also say a staff psychologist me. withheld certain records on Jenkins' mental health that could have helped get Jenkins placed in the regional center after release. Had it been disclosed, would have led to a civil commitment and his civil commitment would have averted uh, in the end the four deaths uh, that took place uh, up in Omaha. In a statement late this afternoon, Governor Dave Heineman says he has taken responsibility for the sentencing errors. He said, quote, Senator Lathrop has only been interested in trying to score political points. He also says senators also knew about the possibility of building a new prison, but they didn't take any action either. When it comes to Nico Jenkins, he says the report tries to place the blame on the Department of Correctional Services when he says the blame solely falls on Nico Jenkins. Reporting live in Lincoln, Nicole Goodrich, KETV, Newswatch 7. Thanks, Nicole.